this is the study guide for our final exam. So it's the same format as the midterm exam. Part one is multiple choice. You'll have 40 multiple choice questions to answer in 40 minutes. Part two is essays. You're writing about three of the supplemental lectures, three of your choice that we're giving to you in the second half of the course. You'll have 85 minutes to complete part two. Looking at part one here first, like the midterm, what I've done is I've taken the the list of key concepts and events and key people found at the end of each chapter in the chapter review section. I've taken those lists and reduced them down to a more manageable number. So here are each chapter's list. So if it's not on this list, it will not be on the exam. So when you study for the exam, of course, you're using your textbook for information, but use this list to study from, not the lists in the book, because this is much reduced, okay? So I've done this for all chapters, chapters 8 through 15. If you have any questions about any of these key concepts and events or key people, uh, please let me know. Okay, moving on to the next section, uh, Essay Questions Part 2. Uh, below are the eight supplemental lectures presented to you in the class, and I'll show you those in a minute. The actual exam will be reduced to six. I'm not going to tell you which two I'm taking away. You won't know until, I, until you open the exam itself. For the exam, choosing from the remaining six, you will write three essays of your choice. The assignment is to write a review of the lecture. What is a review? A review is a formal assessment or examination of something. In this case, you'll be writing a brief summary or general survey of my lecture. Please include enough basic information so that a reader can easily identify what the story is about and understand its tone. So very key here, brief summary, general survey, basic information. We're not looking for a lot of detail here. You know, get to the point and move to, move to the next one. Uh, very important also, follow the outline. And I've given this to you uh, with each essay that we've done, or I'm sorry, lecture that we've done. If it's on the outline, including your essay. So if you skip something, you're going to get points off for that. And this next paragraph is perhaps the most important. The information you use to write these essays can only come from the supplemental lectures themselves. Do not add information from an outside source. So I'm not looking for you to spruce this up and to add information that you've found somewhere else. That's not a review. You're reviewing what I said only. So only use information from the lecture itself. Don't add information from another source. Please write this assignment as an essay, not a list, bullet points, or fragmented sentences. Sometimes people take the outline and, you know, kind of just add a few words here and there, and that's their essay. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I want you to write me a story about what you learned from, from the lecture. You're reviewing it. You're following the outline as you write it. Uh, there should be three parts to each of your essays. We talked about this before. Uh, the outline uh, clearly shows this. The top is always introduction. The bottom is the relevance. Anything else in between are the main points. So an effective essay, you, you write a brief introduction because my introduction in the lecture is brief. So I don't, it doesn't need to be very long, but, but, but write something from that introduction so I know that you understand that. Write that first. Then, you know, uh, describe the main points and, um, you know, uh, point point after point, and each one kind of leads to the next. Uh, so write it as a story, but then don't forget the relevance at the end. Very important. So the introduction and the relevance are worth three points each. <clears throat> That's a lot. Uh, so state the relevance at the end. Relevance only. I'll accept word for word to make sure you get it correctly uh, as given to you in the lecture. Okay, I'll accept that, but, but no other part of the lecture should be word for word. So again, follow the outline. You'll have 85 minutes to complete these three essays. You can use your supplemental lecture notes and outlines from class. So that's, don't forget that you can use those. Uh, going on the internet, Googling will not help you. I'm not asking you to research these subjects. I'm asking you to reduce the lecture down to its most important points in the same order given in the lecture. This information will not be found on the internet. Oops, that was, that was a quick one there. Let me get back where I was here. Sorry about that. Uh, there is no minimum or maximum length. Be simple, concise, and to the point. An effective review essay does not need to be more than a full page, more or less. A multi-page lengthy essay that goes into great detail about each point is not what I'm looking for here, and points will be taken off for that. Copying any portion of the supplemental lectures word for word 
will result in a large reduction of points. That's plagiarism. Of course, the exception is the relevance. I will accept that word for word, okay? The following list are the eight supplemental lectures that were given to you in the second half of our class. Again, two of these will be removed from the final list and not available to write about. If you write about one of the ones that have been removed, you're going to get a zero for that, for that essay, okay? You will not see the final list until you open the exam. So here are the eight lectures given to you in the second half of our class. Number nine, of course, one through eight was the first half. Number nine was the Republican family. Number 10, the transportation revolution. Number 11, Ralph Waldo Emerson and transcendentalism. Number 12, the domestic slave trade. Number 13, the Mexican-American War. Number 14, the logistics of the Civil War. Number 15, the Emancipation Proclamation. Number 16 is the Lincoln assassination. Okay, if you have any questions about any of this, please let me know, and good luck on your final exam. Thank you.